testing were released this morning. Murders up 10%, rape 5, burglaries 7, and assaults 13. And now for the bad news. Fred, 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 let go. Come on, knock it off. Drop it, drop it. Give me a break, will you? I live here, you know. So long, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. Say goodbye to Diana for me. Where are you going? Oregon. I'm packing it in. Oregon? Why? Because this place is a cesspool, that's why. Gary! You're his best friend. Can't you talk some sense into the man? My father is crazy. He's taking us up to the boonies. Rita, get back in that car. I'm going to get you for this, Charlie. Well, wait, Charlie, you... Get you, back you, in! Well, you just go like this? You, you don't say a word? I didn't want you to talk me out of it. What about your family? My kid is pregnant. Your business. I sold it. Your house. You want it? It's yours. It's sitting on a chemical waste site. I got green slime in my bathtub. Green slime? You're kidding. Do I look as if I'm kidding? Come to think of it, you're only a couple of blocks away from me. If I were you, I'd have a geology report done right away. Wait, Charlie, wait. What are you going to do up there? I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to get cancer from the water. I'm not going to get killed in a mugging. I'm not going to breathe any of this crummy air anymore. I'm going to hunt, I'm going to fish, and I'm going to live off the fat of the land the way God intended us to. Charlie, you're crazy. So long, pal. I'll call you from paradise. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, the guy picks up his whole family and moves up to dog packs for Pete's sake. He'll be back. Believe me, he'll be back. What's a city guy know about hunting and fishing? What about Rita? That woman's never been more than three feet from a beauty parlor. Remember that time she broke her nail? She had to be hospitalized. Are you okay? The air. What about the air? It's brown. So? It's always brown. It's browner than usual. We could die. You're not going to die, Diana. Come on. We got another lap to run. Nobody ever died from smog. I heard they were dropping like flies in Chicago just a few years ago. Dropping, yes. Yes, they were dropping. Oh. But they weren't dying. Oh, Gemma? Oh, totally Mondo cool. I mean, the guy's like totally super. Breakfast is ready. Jeffrey? Oh, right. Guy's total geek. Daddy, that was so totally rude. What are you doing? Requesting the pleasure of your company at the breakfast table. Sit. Not you. Her. Oh, Dad, these eggs are, like, totally disgusting. Disgusting? Why can't Mom make them? Because Mom's going back to work today. What do you have to go back to work for? Money. Money? You mean like we're poor? Like, totally. She's not here. Never call again. No biggie. They only call back. Unplug Jay. Gotcha. What happened? Just wanted to see if you were still with us, champ. Beam yourself over to the breakfast table. The breakfast table is the place for the family to communicate. So what do you say? Let's have a little communication, preferably in English. Okay. You think I could, like, start taking birth control pills? Do you think it's it's out of the question to put Melissa into a convent? We're not even Catholic. Well, we could convert. Are you sure there are no more openings at Beverly Hills High? 
Jerry, I haven't worked in five years. I don't have any tenure. Had to take what I could get. Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry, honey. I'm actually looking forward to teaching these kids. I bet they're starving for education. I know it's embarrassing. I know it's not easy. So what I'm going to do is turn my back and count to five. And I want whoever took my purse to put it right here on the desk. And I promise no one will be punished. One, two, three. Thank you. Now who took my coat? Hey, Cliff. Want to have lunch? I can't afford lunch. I just got laid off. Laid off? You're one of the best guys they've got working here. How could they do that? Like that. Huh? Like that. I was standing here not 30 minutes ago doing my job. Henry comes out. He says, hey, Cliff. And, and he goes like that. Next thing I know, he tells me things are slow. There's no work. I'm canned. What am I going to do, Gary? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to stay right here on the job. You know why? Because I'm going to walk into that office right now, and I'm going to tell Henry that I need you. Hey, Gary. <laughs> what am I going to tell my wife, Gary? This is liable to kill her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. I'm not going to tell Diana anything until I get another job. Why should the both of us worry? You wouldn't believe the day I had. I got fired. Anyway, Johnny Crow, do you know? No, he's the lead singer. The one that bought all the audience. Right. Oh, and it was so neat. He goes, I'd like to see you sometime. And so I go, well, I would about tomorrow night. And so guess what? He's coming over here for dinner. Could you die? Hold on. Daddy, can you please cool with the vacuum? No, I cannot cool it with the vacuum. I've got a lot to do before your mother gets home from work. I've got a load of wash to do, and I've got a meatloaf I have to make. <laughs> no, my father. He's been out of work for a few weeks, and he's going crazy. I mean, you should see this house. Spotless. I'm talking surgically sterile. I mean, like you could do open heart in the living room rug. Oh, sweetheart. You look like you've had a rough day. Here, let me take your coat. Thank you. Is this a zip gun? Uh-huh. One of my students made it in class. What's happening in our schools today? That's it. You're not going back there. I can't go back there. They burned it down this afternoon. The kids burned the school down? No. The teachers did it. Sale? Bruised. Cut. You just cut it right off. Cut them right off. Bruised. Same thing? Sale, right. <laughs> Heel! This is veal. Who serves veal to a perfect stranger? You know what veal costs? I want it to be nice. M my meatloaf is nice. It's the first time Melissa's brought a boy home. But veal, I mean, who is this guy? What kind of a guy gets veal? So Johnny Crud, is that a stage name? Watch it to you. Being a little hostile, aren't you? Why shouldn't I be? This world stinks. We are the children of a decaying, decadent society that your generation ruined. Any more veal? Isn't Johnny neat? I mean, could you just die? Mm-hmm. I don't want no dogs and cats. I don't want no welcome mats. I don't want no lawns to mow. This pot stinks, I'm gonna go! wrote that on the spot. Was that awesome? Not only that, the guy can barf on cue. Oh, my God. I hope he calls me. Oh, oh. Where are these kids coming from? I haven't understood a word she said since she was 11. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about Jay for a few years. Do you smell smoke? You're kidding
He's smoking. What are you watching? What? What are you watching? Circus of filth. We love our kids. We brought them up right. We brought them up to think straight. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. It's not so hard to understand, Mr. Weber. It's not unusual for a child to have repressed anger for his parents. Anger? What did we do? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Now, Jay, are you... Are you angry with your parents? Mm-hmm. Why? Because they canceled the cable channel. They did? Did you cancel the cable channel? You're darn right we did. He was watching filthy movies on it. Filth... You, uh, think sex is filthy? It is for an 11-year-old. What about a 14-year-old? They won't even let me take the pill. No. Well, I hope you're happy, Dad. The guy was totally shocked at the way he raised us. You've got a lot of sexual hang-ups, you know that, Jeff? See what happens when you pick a shrink out of the phone book? Grounded, young lady. And Jay, no more late-night TV for you. You can't stop me. Oh, yeah? They got lockboxes, buddy, to stop little perverts like you. Boy, I never saw Charlie smile like that before. He's not smiling, he's squinting. See, the sun is in his eyes. Yeah, probably a reflection off of that gorgeous lake. Nice looking cabin. You know, Charlie says there's another one up there just like that. I don't see an antenna on the roof. It's almost over yet. I can't stand it. I need just a little TV. I'll be right back, I promise. Sit down. You heard what Dr. Langendorf said. What did he say? 80 bucks, please. Is it almost over yet? If you ask me, they're bored to death. All the guy does is take slides. See what happens when you don't take the pill? You see that van? You don't suppose the Tuckers are moving? We can only hope. When was the last time we made love? I can't remember. We've got two kids. It must have happened sometime. You know, maybe Charlie has the right idea. You're not starting up again about Oregon, are you? No. Good, because it's impossible. They don't even have schools up there. I'm a teacher. I could teach them. They're not learning anything down here. If it was just the two of us, maybe I'd take the chance. But we've got the kids to think about. Escape, no future, and no hope. <laughs> He's a real upper, isn't he? Daddy, you're taking me away from all my friends. You're ruining my life. Oh, I'm sure you'll find some losers up in Oregon. When you're older and married to a doctor, you'll thank us. I don't like this idea. I don't want to go. Get in the car. Everybody get in the car. Bye, Johnny. I'll never forget you. We're all forgotten. We're all doomed. You are doomed. Crud, get a job.
think there's something wrong with this map. We are lost. We don't know that. Let's see. We were on 101 to Portland, then we veered off that road there about four hours ago. This place cannot be anywhere near civilization. Hey, you want paradise, you don't just stumble into it. If it was easy to find, everybody be there. Wait, Dad. I think I see it. I, I think I see paradise. looks like a ghost town. Okay, okay, let's not be so quick to judge. Your father's right. The cabins are probably up in the hills. I'm sure it's very nice up there. Hello? Hello? What can I do for you? We could use a little gas. Ain't got none. Fresh out. I'll do your window for you. You just passing through? No. Me and my family are planning on making our home here. Here? Yeah, hard to believe, isn't it? Sure is. Especially since you're the first people I ever saw moving to this place. Why? What's wrong with this place? What, are you blind? Look around you, it's dead. Well, there's no place to dance if you've a mind to. Yeah, well, me and the missus don't dance very much. That's good. You ought to like it here, then. You know, Dad, I say we ought to bag this place while we've still got the chance. Is she in show business? Uh, no, she's got a vitamin deficiency. Don't pay any attention to her. We're looking for a man named Charlie Baumgarten. Jewish? We never asked him. Is he here? Uh, no, he ain't got nobody here but that name. We got a Charlie Decker, Charlie Evans, a Charlie Lewis. Uh, that's me. But that's not possible. We came all this way to find him. Uh, well, he ain't here. What do you mean he's not here? He's got to be here. He's been living here in Woodcrest for a month and a half. Woodcrest? Oh, this here ain't Woodcrest. This here, Wood Ridge. Wood Ridge? Uh, yeah, now you see, uh, Wood Crest, about 60 miles that way, over the crest. That's why they call it Wood Crest. Now, we're under the ridge, that's why we're called Wood Ridge. You see, kids, I knew there must have been some mistake. That's right, that's right. This is Wood Ridge. See, we don't have to stay in this ghost town. Get in. They think this is a ghost town. Compared to Wood Crest, we're the Big Apple. to be there very soon. It's probably around the next curve. You can't even really believe it's me, can you? Well, I just didn't recognize you without the Gucci boots. Oh, I know. I, I was ridiculous. I've, I've given all that up. I've given up all the fancy clothes. I don't need them because I found the woman beneath the clothes. And for the first time in my life, I feel really free. Really free. You know what I mean? Yeah. Free. And Charlie, he feels really free, too. Well, that's great. So you both feel really free. I never told you this before, Diana, but back in the city, Charlie was a bit of a dud. Charlie? Charlie was a dud? But up here, it's incredible. The man is uncontrollable. I mean, he is a real animal. Well, that's great. I'm happy for you. You're happy. Well, look, I'll see you later, okay? Because I've got to get back to the cabin and salt some pork. Claire, honey? Come on. Salt some pork. Like, that's one of the more exciting things to do around here. Oh. Hey, you better stay out of that stuff. Uh, she's a little touchy. Who? The owner, Brooklyn Mary. Brooklyn Mary? What were you expecting, Marjorie Maine? Huh? Okay, shake a leg. I'll close my door in 15 minutes. Oh, come on, Mary. Give us a break. Will you? This is my friend from L.A. I'm thrilled. Dry goods over there, clothing on the shelves, ammo behind the counter. And, uh, 
With any purchase over $50, you get a free copy of my autobiography. From the Bowels of Brooklyn to the Wilds of Woodcrest by Mary Hennessy, the woman, the myth, the legend. Woo! The author has bridged the chasm between two divergent worlds. Seldom has a work like this been made available to the literary public. Very impressive. Mary used to drive a cab in the city. Had her own medallion, but she gave it up. Succumbed to the call of the wild. That wasn't the reason. I hate cities. I hate noise. I hate people. Love money, though. You got me? Yeah, I will, so... Then start spending it. You got 14 and a half minutes. Okay, kids, let's hustle. The sky's the limit. We really want that book. Yeah, it's... Isn't Mary something else? Oh, yeah, she's something else, all right. Hey, you with the hair. Stay out of that corp. Corp? A dried soya nuts, dehydrated bean curd, and desiccated pig's liver. It's sort of the staple of life around here. You actually eat that stuff? No, no, it's only for emergencies. Emergencies, emergencies. You never mention anything about an emergency. Not once, not ever. Do you remember him ever saying anything about an emergency? Will you stop worrying? Where did you think you were going, Club Med? This is the country. You gotta rough it a little. Hey, Dad, you know that other town, Woodridge? Starting to look pretty good. I don't suppose you have a place to get pizza around here. Yeah, right next door to the disco. Could you direct me to the meat counter? Aw, oh, honey, you want meat up here, you gotta hunt for it. Hunt? We got a hunt? Charlie, I never hunted in my life. <laughs> Neither did I before I got up here. There's nothing to it. The woods are full of game. You fire a shotgun in any direction, you're bound to hit something. Are there any fresh vegetables? Oh, this one's a riot. She must keep you in stitches. Gary! We're all going to get scurvy. <laughs> Nobody's going to get scurvy. You grow your own vegetables. You ought to see Rita's garden. When's the last time you tasted a fresh tomato right off the vine? Talk about sweet. Hey, yo! Did you put something in your pocket? Me? You talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Up against the wall, mister. Empty your pockets. Spread them. I will not empty my pockets, and I will not spread them. Are you accusing my husband of shoplifting? You're darn right I am. Okay, mister. Don't you mess with me, or I'll punch you right out. Oh, yeah? You and who else? I used to box in the Navy. Yeah? So did I. The woman actually asked me to spread them. Just follow this road straight to the end. Where do you see your cabin? It's one of the best in the area. Any chance they're going to be paving this road in the near future? Oh, you'll be trading this in for a Jeep. This car wouldn't last two months in this terrain. See? step he's a guy who's got a lot of tires among other things been here longer than anybody else that's his place over there oh well it'll be nice to meet a neighbor yeah well i wouldn't exactly call east step a neighbor see people are a little standoffish up here independent you know what i mean i'll be honest with you it takes a little while before they accept <laughs> It's okay. It's just East Step. From the looks of things, I don't think he's accepted me yet. Hey, you keep your head down. Hey! Hey, East Step! Hold your fire! It's me! Charlie Baumgarten! Why didn't you say so? I gotta blow your heads off! Come on. Is that guy nuts? He tried to kill us. It's okay. It's okay. He didn't know who we were. Charlie, there are a lot of guys who don't know who I am, but they don't shoot at me. Hey! You coming or not? Yeah! Hold, hold your fire! Sure this place isn't mine? Just the perimeters. I think we're okay here. You're kidding, right?
Hey, Steph. This is a friend of mine from L.A., Gary Weber. He's going to live here. I live here. Well, near here. I don't want to seem unneighborly, but we could have been killed. Don't be such a baby. I missed you, didn't I? Wasted two good rounds, too. Gary here had a flat tire, and he doesn't have a spare. No spare, huh? In this terrain. What are you, demented or something? Nice place you got here. Kind of like a fort. Expecting company. You're here, aren't you? <whistles> New coming from the big city. Traveling around without a spare. In this terrain? What, is he demented? <laughs> That's my son, Zach. Only 17, but a real man. He definitely likes girls, we're sure of that. Right, son? That's right, Dad. It's my wife, Joan. Button up, Joan. How do you do? We do fine. We don't ask for anything. We don't need anything. Same here. Thought you needed a spare. Well, yeah, except for the spare. So, uh, what do you say? Can you fix them up? We need all our tires for ourselves. Cover up, Joan. You have to flaunt yourself like that? The man wants a tire. That's all he wants. Gentlemen, let's go down to the bunker. Bunker? Bunker. This is an actual bunker. He wasn't kidding. Oh, you'll find, Gar, that East Stiff never kids around. I kidded around once. Had to get married. Eva Braun would be real happy here. Say what you want about that woman. She was loyal. This is the best bunker in the whole valley. Right, Dad? Right, son. You mean there are more? A few. Most people won't admit it. Said them would be ripped off. We're not worried. We're well protected. Right, son? Right, Dad. Nobody's going to get in here unless he's invited. Someplace, huh? I got enough food in here to last a whole year. Uh, is this where you sleep? On shelves? Well, those mattresses are water beds. They double as reservoirs in case you get thirsty. They got water purifiers on them and everything. In case you get thirsty? You know, in case of an emergency. There's that word again, Charlie. Well, say what you want. It's nice to be self-sufficient. Look at the space you got here. I mean, the kids would love to play down here. You could turn it into a rumpus room. What are these? What, those? You don't know a radiation suit when you see one? <laughs> Boy, are you dumb. You can't stay down here forever, you know. Be nice if you could, huh? But you can't. Yeah, who'd want to be up there? Fresh air, sunshine, beautiful trees, when you could be down here. He thinks it's funny, Dad. Look... Just on the off chance that we don't happen to have a nuclear war, isn't a lot of this stuff going to go to waste? Is that what's bothering you? Well, put your mind to rest. There'll be a war. Or a gas crisis, or a food shortage, or a full-scale depression. It's coming. And I'm ready for it. Boy, I can't wait. It'll all start with the riots in the city. People will be roaming the countryside and looking for food and doing anything they have to to get it. And me and Dad and Mom will be right here in the Catford seat. <laughs> right, Dad? Right, son. <laughs> Chip off the old block, isn't he? That's why I love him. hundred bucks. Hundred bucks for a lousy tire. Come on, it's the only tire for miles. It's the law of supply and demand. Why didn't he charge me two hundred? He wanted to. I talked him out of it. We're changing this tire and we're getting out of here right now. What happened? Who cares? This is super. Don't argue with a man. You haven't even given the place a chance yet. Haven't given this place a chance. I'm going to kill you, Charlie. Gary, let him go. Are you out of your mind? Darn right I am. What did you bring us up to? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. 
You know what this place is? You know who these people are? What? Survivalists. You mean those people who hole up in the hills waiting for the world to come to an end? This whole place is probably full of them. They've all got bunkers. Bunkers? Right, Finn. Oh, what's the matter with you two? We dragged our kids up here. I moved my family. We trusted you. Oh, oh so you want to blame me, huh? Oh, go ahead if it'll make you feel any better. The truth is, you came up here because you hated it down there. It was killing you. So maybe we got a nut or two. Some of the people get carried away. That doesn't mean you have to. This place is what you make it. A man and his wife and his family can be free up here. The air is still beautiful. The water is still clean. It's still Oregon. You want to go back? Go back. Only ask yourself this. What are you going back to? A house full of green slime? It's better than I expected. Actually, it's great. I love it. It's beautiful. I think I could be happy here. What did I tell you? And you're right on the lake. And look at this view. You can see forever. A little skinny dipping in the moonlight after the kids are asleep. It's not bad. Trust me. <laughs> what do you think, kids? Swimming, fishing, boating. What about surfing? You can't surf on a lake. You've never surfed. I was going to. I don't even believe you guys. Do you see a log cabin, you melt. I thought we were going back. Why are you going through with this folly? Because we have nothing to go back to. Because our house in L.A. is probably a radioactive swamp by now with a total market value of zero. Because Daddy went into Hawk and sold everything so we could live up here. Oh, just checking. Don't worry about the kids. They'll adjust. When they get to be 18, they'll leave us anyway. Talk about rustic charm, huh? Rustic, yeah, rustic. Okay, okay, don't panic. I can do a lot with this. Oh, yeah? What? A lot. A lot. No TV? TV? Where's the phone? Phone? The early American pioneers, the people who made this country great, did not have color television sets and princess telephones. I have to go to the bathroom. You really stole this place, fella. I mean, look at this. A fully equipped kitchen, uh, running water. Outside, your own electric generator. Just what I always wanted, my own electric generator. You were worried. Look at this place. All the comforts of home. Tori, right, where's the bathroom? Bathroom? Oh, no. Charlie! Mm. Oh, my God! Cowboy. You look lovely. So do you. You feel the draft? Yeah, the window's stuck. No problem. One thing we don't want around here 
is a cold woman. Oh, well, now we're going to get plenty of night air. Yeah. What are you doing? It's freezing in here. You're going to bed like that? Mm-hmm. Not very sexy. Well, this is it, Gare. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Okay. You want to just lift it up a second? Huh? I see. Okay. Okay, now, chicken, I'm just going to reach under here and, and see it. Oh. What is this stuff? That's powdered scrambled eggs. And this is reconstituted hash browns. And this is something I believe they call beef jerky. For breakfast? That's disgusting. Can't you roll with it a little until we get organized? Why can't we have real eggs? You want real eggs? You go out there and risk your life for real eggs. Look at what that lousy bird did to me. I say we cook the hens. That's disgusting. Mmm, smell that coffee. What's for breakfast? Yellow gunk and beef jerky. Mmm, this is delicious. Don't you feel like you're getting your taste buds back? You're kidding yourself, Dad. This stuff is putrid. I think I pulled a muscle in my neck. Come in. Oh, this is beautiful. Family at the breakfast table, right out of Norman Rockwell. I wish I had my camera. You want some breakfast, Charlie? No, thanks. When I hunt, I like to be hungry. Hone's my killer instinct. Gar, you're gonna love this. Two guys in the wild, man against nature. It's rugged, it's macho, it's masculine. Hey, that's Mr. Gung Ho there. Let's head out. Got my gun. Don't worry. There'll be steak on the table tonight. What's he gonna do, shoot a cow? This I gotta see. Scare them away. It's a bear. Yeah. You don't get a break like this every day. You know, Charlie, I'm new at this. I'd much rather start with smaller animals. Are you kidding? Do you realize what an opportunity this is? Your first kill and you bag a bear? Huh? Boy, I envy you. What a thrill. You saw him first. Uh, the thrill should really be yours. Don't waffle, Gar. Think about why you're doing this. Why? Food. Right. Right. Wait a minute, Dad. Wait a minute. What? What's the matter? What if you miss? You might make him angry. I'm not going to miss. I missed. Oh, my gosh. He's coming. Let's get out of here, guys. Where's Jimmy? Dad, we gotta stop hanging out with this guy. It wasn't easy being a woman cabbie in Brooklyn, but I knew I wasn't gonna stop there. Not this kid. I knew someday I'd have my own medallion. Whew. Talk about exciting. You think that's exciting? <laughs> Gary! <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I'll show you what's going on. Is that beautiful or is that beautiful? It's beautiful. That's the most beautiful toilet I ever saw. Where'd you get it? Mary. I traded her a pair of cufflinks for it. She was using it for a planter. Well, what are we going to do with it? I'm going to build a bathroom. What do you think? I think we got ourselves a planter. You'll see. I'm going to run these pipes to a septic tank. 
Don't worry. I've got a book. It tells you everything you need to know. It's a heck of a lot more exciting than Mary's autobiography, I'll tell you that. And to think my mother didn't want me to marry you. Your mother didn't want you to marry me? <laughs> you understand the importance of this garden. Melissa, this is where it all begins. In the soil. In the soil which I have tilled and mulched into a perfect blend. This is a heck of a garden. What smells? Fertilizer. Go get me some more, will you? I'm out of it. Where? In the chicken coop. Where in the chicken coop? Just follow your nose. Go! Not you, her! Fred! Oh my gosh! That dog, he wrecked my garden. I got, I got trouble back here. I got a lot of trouble. Jeepers. You think it's really going to work? Of course it's going to work. You said the same thing about the toaster. That was electricity. This is plumbing. Anybody can do this. I should have known better than to pick up a fairy prospect block. Before I knew it, the creep had me in a hammerlock. Before he knew it, my knee was in his groin. Mm, rough broad. Yeah, rough. Gary! <laughs> <Scary. laughs> yeah, chicky chicky. All right. I've tried doing it your way. Now I'm going to do it now. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're cute, you're cute. You're cute. We're gonna look even cute in a roasting pan. Come here. Give me the net. Give me the net. No. What do you mean, no? I got a fish on the line. I refuse to kill any living thing. Give me that. Oh, Jay, if you want to survive up here, you got to learn to be a killer. It was round seven. My shipmates were going crazy. I had a cut over my right eye. But you should have seen the other guy. My trunks were slipping, so I knew I had to end it fast. What a woman. What a man. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> hey! An egg! I got an egg! in July. Did we miss it? Oh, I'll die if we missed it. Tell me we're not too late. No, no, it just started. You're just missing the opening credits. Credits? You miss those? You don't know who those people are. Hurry up. Oh, please, they're going. Mm, all right. But you're not going to drag me to that Sonia Henny thing. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. What's with you? Nothing. I was just kidding around. No, you weren't. You were mouthing off. Gary, so she didn't like the movie. What's the big deal? I'll tell you what the big deal is. She hasn't stopped complaining since we got up here. Not for one second. Well, when are you going to realize, Daddy, that I hate it here? There's nothing to do and I'm bored to death. This place is really the pits and I'm never going to feel any different. Never. Jeez. Sorry. 
Oh, what are you staring at? Uh, you, you're, uh, pretty. <laughs> yeah? You really think so? Uh-huh, but, uh, what you do to your hair, it's, it's so, uh, weird. Uh, it's only temporary. It's, um, a vitamin deficiency. Well, uh, I'm going in to see the movie. Uh, have you, have you seen it yet? Oh, uh, no. Uh-uh. You want to see it with me? Sure, I'd love to. Okay. You in the uh, show business? Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Your hair, it's back to normal. Well, what are you staring at? You hated it, didn't you? I never said I hated it. Thank you, God. I'm going to go change my clothes, okay? You can do that later. Finish your homework. I did. No, you didn't. You didn't finish the essay question. Mom, Zach's going to be here any minute. Can I do it later? No, you have to do it now. A test is a test. You can't just leave it in the middle. See, he's here. Hi. Hi. Hi, Zach. Hi, Miss Weber. Uh, what happened to your hair? Oh, it just wasn't right for up here. You know, I wanted to be really natural, you know, really free. Zach, would you like some biscuits and preserves? Uh, no thanks, Miss Weber. I wish you would. This stuff's piling up. Mom, I think you're over-baking. Zach, you've been living here a while. What does your mother do with her days? Oh, well, uh, today she's filling bullet casings with gunpowder. And when she's not filling bullet casings with gunpowder... She's always filling bullet casings with gunpowder. I see. I thought we were going hiking. Oh, we are. I just have to finish a stupid essay question. Zach, why don't you help her? Okay. I'll try. <sighs> okay. Essay question. After the Civil War, radical reconstruction was neither radical nor did it reconstruct. Explain. I don't know much about the Civil War. Here's a book you can read if you'd like. Read? I can't read. Has it got any pictures? I like pictures. And so I thought maybe we could even set up a school right here in back of the store. You did, huh? What's my end? Well, don't you want to bring culture and education to the community? If I wanted culture, I would have stayed in Flatbush. I'm here to make money. That's it. New ideas are dangerous. That's ridiculous. Why not just burn books? We have a few in our time. Not mine, I hope. Oh, we cherish yours. Why are you doing this anyway? Well, I, I get the satisfaction that comes from opening up children's minds. Stimulating them. Getting them to think. Horse pucky. Horse pucky? <laughs> Mr. Eastep, Zach can't read. He can strip an M16 rifle in 40 seconds flat. He can lay a minefield blindfolded. He can hang him by his toes over a raging river, beat him with twigs, and he won't talk. That's a no for Howard and Joan. What about everybody else? Life is different here, Diana. Different things are important. Do you see this dress? I wove the cloth for this dress. You, you're weaving now? Gary, she's weaving. I thought it was pottery. Diana, why don't we chip in for a sheep? We'll share the wool, and come winter, we'll knit the most fabulous sweaters together. I don't want to knit, and I don't want to weave, and I don't want to shear. Then why don't you just concentrate on running a home, Diana? I have been concentrating on that. I've got baked goods and preserves coming out of my ears. You do? I'll trade you some ammo for those preserves. You should be so lucky. Beat them with twigs? Can you believe it? Can you believe her? We're talking about a woman who used to belong to the Book of a Month Club. What happened? She and Charlie were so civilized. 
Maybe they're taking drugs. Mom, Dad, the hens, they're gone. Warren, I locked this coop. Maybe the wind blew it open. Grow up, you two. Those hens were stolen. Now, wait a minute. Just because the hens are gone doesn't mean they were stolen. Maybe they just wandered off. You can't go around accusing people. There were two sacks of feed here. Did they wander off, too? I bet it was E-Step. Either him or that book-burning wife of his. Nazis. Shelf in the back of the store. Better hurry, it's going fast. 782, 783, 780. I need some more hens. You and everybody else. What happened to those duties I sold you? I'll tell you what happened. One of the sterling members of this community ripped us off. That's too bad. I ain't got no more. I'm offering $25 as a reward for any information leading to the arrest of the chicken thief. Swell. Put it up on the bulletin board and move aside, pal. I'm trying to do business here. 785, 786. Holy mackerel, there's hardly anything left. Don't panic, Charlie. Shopping is my thing. Buy everything you can get your hands on. And remember, we have an advantage here. We're rich. Charlie, what's going on here? Haven't you heard? There's a trucker strike. The whole Northwest. There isn't a sound between here and Denver that's going to get a delivery. And God knows for how long. Charlie! Look, could we talk about this later? Okay, price of everything just went up. 20%. 20%? Someone ought to report you to the Better Business Bureau. 25 for you. What? You made trouble. What are you standing around for, Gary? You want your family to go hungry? It's survival of the fittest. Move, man. You want a couple of these Midnight Gardeners? They're a hot item. Midnight Gardener? Yeah. To bury your food in. Protect it. Hide it. Get with it, however. Well, I wasn't planning on burying it. Bizarre as this might sound, I was planning on eating it. Up to you. Last time there was a trucker strike, they were ready to kill for a strip of jerky. Do you mind? I'm buying this. I had it first. It's mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm bigger than you. How do you like that? Survival of the fittest. You know what I mean? Now you're catching on. Matter of fact, I can't. These are the last of the fresh vegetables. What about all that stuff you've been growing? That is an organic garden. In an organic garden, you have a lot of spoilage due to insect infestation. How much spoilage? One out of every two tomatoes bites the dust. That's 50%. What are you doing out there? Bringing the insects to the plants? That's the price you pay when you don't use chemicals. Why don't you use chemicals? I like chemicals. Now he tells me. Yeah, this may sound like an off-the-wall idea, but aren't you supposed to be the great white hunter around here? I'm out there with Jay every day. The woods are thinned out. There are more hunters out there than there are rabbits. What about the lake? Fished out. You spend half your day trying to untangle your hook from the guy next to you. What about that bustling metropolis we passed through before we came up here? They're not receiving any deliveries either. Everybody's hoarding. Nobody knows how long this strike is going to last. Could be months. Months? We're going to be eating bark and worms and beetles, aren't we? Melissa, you're grossing me out. Ugh. Don't move. Nobody move. What is it? Squirrel. In the tree. In the yard. Squirrel. <laughs> We're getting pretty hard up, aren't we? Yes, we are. Don't blow it, Gary. Please, don't blow it. Not a chance, Diana. 
There'll be squirrel on the table tonight. Bingo! Bread! Fetch! Fetch! What is that mud doing? He's running off with our dinner! Oh no! Fred! Come back! Come back! Stay with me, Fred. I need you. Some hunting dog. You can afford to play. You wait. This is too good to be true. He's downwind, within range. And pleasantly plump, I might add. Nice one, huh? Yeah. I got a real clear shot at him. You? I got the clear shot at him. Like hell. Give it to me, Charlie. It's my bird. Look, I'm not going to argue with you. It's mine. Like heck it is. Let go. Let go. Don't do that. That's not fair. Let go. Then give me that pheasant. I'll give you the pheasant. Ooh, oh. That was low, Charlie. I'm sorry, buddy. You left me no choice. I had to do it. Okay. It's okay. Now we're even. Look, this is very silly. Why don't we just split it, huh? I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. You want that pheasant, you've got it. Find my own bird. Oh, come on, Gar. You gonna let a little bird come between us? I don't want to lose a friend over a bird. It is a nice bird, though. You should have split it. I couldn't split it. It's the principle of the thing. Look, we'll just have to rough it. We'll live off the gorp for a while going to believe it. Our chickens are back. No, our gorp has been stolen. Thank God. What do you mean? Now we don't have anything to eat. No. Yes. Definitely should have split it. Mary, it's me, Gary Weber. Stores closed till they settle the strike. Mary, please. I need some food. My family is starving. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Desperate enough to trade you my, my watch, my wedding ring, anything I've got for a little food. Anything? Well, come on in. Maybe we can work something out. Thanks, Mary. Thanks. I won't forget this. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm a married man. What are you making such a big deal about? You said anything. Uh-oh. I think she bit me. I gotta get a rabies shot. Funny or something? Jerry dog? Of course not. Don't knock it. it. Tastes just like chicken, only a little tangy. Chicken. I could have eaten our chickens if somebody hadn't stolen them. Gee, those omelets sure look good. 
Is that a Denver? Yeah, <laughs> that's a Denver. And that's a jelly. And that's a fine herb. Just enough for three. Joan sets a lovely table, don't you think? Maybe we could give him a few eggs to take home with him. Maybe you could drop to the floor, give me 50 push-ups. A little starvation would be a good lesson for you. Zach, take a good look at this man. A perfect example of what not to do in the wilderness. <laughs> if everyone would just take care of themselves like we East Ups, there would be no problems in this world. Right, kitty, kitty, kitty? Don't suppose you consider selling that cat? Nah, can't. We might need her if times get bad. You'll feed jelly omelet to your cat, but you'll watch your neighbor starve. You're not gonna watch my cat starve, do you? Where the hell you been? Who's scared? So's game. So's every damn thing. I know that. I know that. Don't you think I know that? If you know that, then why did you leave your food out in the open, huh? Why didn't you bury it? You're crazy. You're a regular nut. Get him, Howard. Crazy? Is that what I am? Ah, wake up, man! Your problem's not that your food's been stolen. Your problem's that you haven't learned the law of the land. There's a war on, don't you know that? A war! more of these dehydrated bananas and a couple of cans of those potatoes. Uh, oh, beans. You didn't forget the beans, You got did you? those. Did you remember to put in the beef jerky? And the flour and the rice. What about ammo? Right there under your nose. Two boxes? You call this ammo? Give me a case. Oh, and I'll take about a dozen of those midnight gardeners. I can't. I only got one left. I'll take it. Back order me the other 11. I'll take this stuff out for you. Special service for a special customer. Hey, Gar, leave something for the rest of us, huh? Oh, Gar, we're back to Gar now. Hey, you're not still sore about the pheasant, are you? It makes you feel any better, it was very stringy. Me? No, I'm not sore. Sure, me and my family practically had to boil our shoes to stay alive, but hey, we survived, right? That's what's important, survival. Will you excuse me, Charlie? I've got my Jeep parked outside, and I wouldn't want to get it stripped before I got this stuff back home. Oh, you're all loaded up. Oh, uh, by the way, I'll be burying this stuff at my house tonight, so if anybody's interested and you'd like to come around, it'll give me a chance to use this new ammo I just bought. Well, it's been nice. Ciao. Kill or be killed and all that. Gary, it's the middle of the night. That's the idea. Work while others sleep. Can't we finish this in the morning? Why don't you just load this stuff into the Jeep and deliver it to our neighbors? Jay, go up by the road, see if anyone's coming. I can see from here. No, you can't. How do you know someone isn't hiding in the bushes? Because we're the only family crazy enough to be out here in this cold. <laughs> I'm so sure. Hand me a couple of cans of those desiccated beets. We're only going to have to dig this stuff up when we want to eat it. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm never going to want to eat it. Just hand me the beets. Come on, before somebody sees us. All right, all right. Why don't we just mine the place like the East Steps? Mary was out of mines. to wear these uniforms, Dad? To blend in with the terrain, Jay. We don't want to make good targets. I don't think Mom's going to like this. Why not? Because it's ugly. 
Gary! What are you doing? This is a house, not a combat zone. We live here. I'm just trying to make it safer. Right, Jay? Right, Dad. You're also making it uglier. Why aren't you in uniform? You don't understand, Mom. If ravaging hordes come up here, we'll be in the catbird seat. Right, Dad? Right, son. You know something, Gary? You're turning into a clone of Howard Eastep. Look at yourselves. You're becoming a macho militaristic jerk. Now I want you out of these uniforms on the double. That's an order. Got it, soldiers? Told you she wouldn't like it. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's nice. Mom? Uh-huh. Didn't you get enough? Never enough. Do you two like to be alone? Hmm? I said, would you two like to be alone? Oh, I'm sorry. Gee whiz, Diana, what a great meal you made. Turkey and uh, succotash and uh, baked bread. You're becoming quite a homemaker. What about Rita? She made the plates. Well, I always like to bring just a little gift when I'm invited to dinner. Well, we'll have to ask you again then. You know that Rita is into glass blowing now? No kidding. Wow. Oh, no way. I'm just dabbling. You know, little swans and elephants and giraffes. I'm going to make a menagerie. Maybe I'm going to exhibit them at Mary's store. We'll come. Put us down for two giraffes. Are you sure they're a thousand dollars a piece? Hmm. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we sure have missed you guys. I um. I want to say something. Oh, no, no, no. Here it comes. I don't want to hear it. I want to apologize for the way I've been acting. I've been driving my family crazy. We lost touch with the two of you. Rita and Charlie are best friends. Sorry. That's very nice. That's very nice. Except that I'm the one that should be apologizing. Can you imagine anything so stupid? You and I fighting over a silly bird? <laughs> silly stringy bird. That bird wasn't stringy. Hmm? What's the difference, huh? Come on, Gar. Give me a hug. What? Come on, give me a hug. No. Come on, Gar. Charlie wants a hug. Hug Charlie. No. Go Come on, on Gar. Well, <laughs> Gar, yeah. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Charlie. Anything I got, you want it? It's yours. Oh, same here, Charlie. <laughs> stringy bird. Gar, it wasn't so stringy. <laughs> Oh, oh, gosh, isn't that nice two men hugging? I think I'm going to cry. Uh, well, do you two guys want a piece of apple pie? After everything we ate, where would we put it? Huh? Besides, you know, we better think about going. You wanted to get up early and work on your bunker tomorrow. Bunker? You're working on a bunker? Just a little thing, Gary. It'll probably wind up being a screening room. Would one of you guys get some wood for the fire? Oh, I'll get it. No, I'll get it. No, 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 let me get no, it. No, please, let me get it. I'll get it. Gary, why don't you let Charlie get it? I can't. He'll see where I hit the food. Charlie. Aren't you coming to bed? Soon. Okay. I admit I overreacted with Charlie. I forgot myself. It won't happen again, I promise. What was that? What? Somebody's out there, that's what. What are you doing? Somebody's stealing our food. They're going to get a butt full of lead. Okay, pal, you've had it. Daddy, what are you doing? Hunting, I'm going hunting. Hunting? But it's hours till morning. Is it? Ooh, I was getting an early start. Maybe you're right. Say hello to your dad for me. Sudden change of heart? Yeah, I decided to call off the range war. From now on, I'm going to let the other ranchers water their cattle on my land. Sounds like a good idea to me, Colonel. You want to go in the house? You can finish this tomorrow. Can't believe it. I was becoming like them. 
You think we made a mistake? I didn't say that. No, I... I didn't either. I was just asking. I can't ask, can't I? Sure. Asking's good. I mean, what's the big deal if we had made a mistake? No big deal. No big deal. Does anybody here know how to build an ark? What are you talking about? We had rain worse than this back home. Worse than this? I don't think there's ever been rain worse than this. This is a little rain. Come on, kids. Time for lunch. This is a lot of rain. We're running out of buckets, Dad. We are. What about pots? We only wear pots. Bedroom's a mess. feel religious. I tried praying about an hour ago. It didn't help. Mom, Dad, our room's looking like crazy. We can't sleep. Pop in. Come here. Come on, get up there. Come on. Get up there. Good, good. Okay, you under the covers. Move over there, friend. Move over there. That's a boy. Okay. okay. Now maybe we'll get some sleep. I said maybe. Coming! We're coming! Our cabin got washed away. What? The whole thing just collapsed. We're lucky to be alive. Melissa, get some blankets. Jay, make some tea. We lost everything. The roof caved in, the sump pump broke, the hot tub overflowed. You had a hot tub? All my pottery, it just, it just floated away. The whole valley is washed out. The only houses that are safe are the ones up here in the highlands. You had a hot tub? Just a prefab thing, Gar. I think you'll be more comfortable on the couch, don't you think, honey? My store's gone. Supplies and everything just washed away. How much you charge to put me up? After what we've been to each other? Fifty bucks a night. Fifty bucks? You took too long. Now it's a hundred. A hundred? Forget it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it in or out? Don't do me no favors. Get in here. Oh, I love it when you're rough. Behave yourself. There are children here. All right, folks. If you're finished, we'd like the next group to come in. Thank you. Somebody get that, please. I'm busy here. I got it. Oh, just in time for breakfast. All right. Who would like scrambled eggs? Can I have mine poached? These are powdered. They don't come poached. You need chickens for poached. Somebody stole my chickens. Probably you. Gary, he was an old man. That's no way to talk. Got any hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? I don't think so. Well, the hell with it, then. You're walking a thin line, Gramps. Open the door! Don't get that. I wasn't going to. Let us in! It's Howard and Joe! Let us in! <laughs> oh, how does it feel, Howard? Shoes on the other foot now, huh, buddy? We're drowning! A little drowning will be a good lesson for you. Oh, 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 boy, am I loving this. Daddy, Zach's probably out there with them. Okay, I'm going to let your son in. But you two are going to have to learn to survive in the wilderness. <laughs> Dad. Lissy. Lissy? <laughs> Where'd you get those chickens, you crook? I bought them. You did not. 
That one's got a crossed eye. One of our chickens had a crossed eye. We didn't steal them. They wandered into our compound. I'll bet. All right. I suppose I ought to tell you. I was the one that took your supplies. Uh-huh. It's not that I needed it. I did it for your own good. That's it. He goes, she says. She was the one that took your chickens. Well, he made me do it. I'm really a good person. Okay, you two, out. Don't try to stop me, Diana. I didn't say a thing. They always like you. Oh, honey, what's the matter? Guess what? Now, now, just take it easy. I mean, this is a perfectly natural thing. Women have been having babies forever. I mean, I know that you must be frightened, maybe even terrified. It's all right, Mom. Relax. Relax? How can I relax? We're having a baby here. Rita, she's having the baby. You're having hysterics. Try breathing, Mom. It's just that I had it all planned, you know? I mean, it, with candlelight and music. No, no, Rita, that comes before. Well, you know what I mean. It was going to be so beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, sort of. Uh, Pan, honey. Pan like a dog. Like this. Oh, what are you looking at? I must have delivered a hundred kids in my cab. Didn't you read my book? Getting worried. A real man doesn't worry, Weber. A real man looks danger in the face and spits in its eye. This is something, huh? Disaster, death, and destruction could strike at any moment. But when? That's the question. Yeah, it's the not knowing that really makes it fun. Tell me something, East Up. How does a guy get to be you? I've got to know. I'm not going to sit here, Weather, and be a foil for your insults. You're not, huh? Where are you going to go? Being a little insensitive, don't you think? Yeah, well, I get that way when I'm scared I'm going to die in any second. Mayday, Mayday, is anybody out there? You know something, Weather? You're probably going to find this hard to believe, but... I, I could make it in the city. Am I doing this right? Oh, uh, I did okay at first. I had my own business and everything. Greeting cards. Wrote my own poems, too. Condolences. That was my specialty. A mother is a treasure. Sorry, yours is dead. You wrote that? Yeah. Easy. Hideous. Really hideous. But then, times changed. People started sending jokes to their mothers and insults to their fathers. Guys were sending Valentine's Day cards to guys. Nobody had any heart anymore. No feeling, no sentiment. Love went out the window. <laughs> so did my business. I can't talk about it anymore. Oh, me. Get well soon, Howard. East Up is monopolizing the bathroom like it was a new toy. Well, to him it is. Yeah, well, there are other people here. The man has no consideration. I've got more important things in my mind, Charlie. Tell him I said it's your turn. My turn. Hey, East Up, open up. Gary says it's my turn. Buzz off, Bob Gun. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Maybe more hot water. Is anybody more hot out water. there? Joan, what are you doing? Trying to keep the fire going. We're running out of love. It's so easy for you, isn't it? It's a girl, Daddy. A girl? I'm calling her Hope. Hope? Because I hope we get out of this alive. Hope Baumgarten. I like it. Do you realize that this life up here is all this kid's ever going to know? It's the foundation. It's going. Out. Everybody out. This house is going to slide. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I'm from California.
I knew it. I knew it. They dropped the big one. Somebody better try and save him. Yeah. You want to do it or should I? Why don't we flip the coin? Come on, will you? Hurry up. Anybody uh, got a quarter? I do. But just make sure you give it back. Come on. Jay. Hey, Weber! I didn't get a chance back there to thank you for saving my life. I especially appreciate it because I'm not so sure I would have done the same for you. No, I'm sure. I wouldn't have. Hey, Howard, you're a sick guy, you know that? See? See what happens when you're nice? Twenty-five cents, right? Nice doing business with you, Joan. I think we ought to tell them. You think now would be a good time? We may never get another chance. Are you kids out of your minds? No, sir. I love her, and she loves me. But you're not old enough to get married. We would be if we were in the South. But we're not in the South. We're in the middle of a drenching downpour. Now, can't we wait for this talk till after it stops raining? No! Don't you realize if we don't live through this, I'll never know what it means to be a woman? Yeah, well, so far, with the kind of guys you've been going out with lately, that might not be such a bad thing. <gasps> Nothing personal. Give me a break! 
going to get back? The old thumb. We're going to miss you guys. Oh, same here. Right. All right, everybody on the tracks. I don't like this thing about us being declared a disaster area. Let's get on the news. People know where we are. That's right. People are liable to come up here and, and take from us who looked ahead. Especially now that the government's putting up Quonset huts. Don't get your shorts in a knot. People won't exactly be flocking. It's going to be a mess pumping out that bunker. But as soon as we do, I'm going to restock it. And Mary, don't forget now. You're putting us down for three new radiation suits, right? You're first on my list. Okay. Anybody else? Hey, maybe we ought to get a couple of those, huh? What do you think, Rita? Couldn't hurt. Do they come in colors? Where are we going to live? With Grandma. Dad hates her. Not anymore. I'll miss you, Zach. I'll come for you, Lizzie. I'll make it to L.A. somehow. Don't hurry. Give us a chance to get settled first. I go. Thanks for the ride. What can I do for you, Jarvis? Charlie. Went like to get some water and pick up some supplies and head right back to Woodcrest. Yeah, well, there's your hose. I'll, I'll get your windows. Okay. Okay, everybody, let's go. Everybody out. We're here. Come on, gang. Better hit the restrooms. I'm going to see if I can get us another ride. Daddy, you know I'll never forgive you for this. You're taking me away from the only man I'll ever love. What about Johnny Crud? He's probably dying to pick up where you left I off. I want Zach! You can write to each other. Can he write? No, but then neither could Crud. Mom, I'm gonna miss hunting. Oh, you can go hunting in L.A. You have to go a little ways up, but, but it's there. It's there. us already? Yeah. Me and my family are moving back to L.A. Think I'll have any trouble getting a ride on this road? Uh, I think a friend of mine got one once. Um, you know, uh, I could have told you you'd be going back. Why didn't you? Tried to. Uh, but it, it don't really matter much, though. It's no better back there. Let me ask you something. If it's no good here, or up there, or back in the city, where is it good? If I knew that, I'd be there. Hey, excuse me. Uh, you got a restroom here? Uh, yeah, back there on the side. Oh, uh, Lance, Phyllis, go ahead. I'll fill up. Takes unleaded. And can you clean this windshield for me? It's kind of grimy. Ha! Ah. Hi. Hey, how, how do? Hi, right. how are you doing? Okay. Good. So, this is Woodcrest, huh? Woodcrest. Woodcrest. No, this isn't Woodcrest. This is Woodridge. Woodridge? Yeah, yeah. Woodcrest is about 60 miles up that way on the crest. That's why they call it Woodcrest. We're under a ridge. That's why they call this Woodridge. Oh. Where are you heading? L.A. L.A. I just came from there. I couldn't wait to get out. You think Woodcrest is going to be any better? Oh, I sure hope so. I'm looking to buy up there. I wouldn't rush. Everybody's crazy up there. They've all got bunkers. Really? I'd like to have a bunker. You just come from there? We had a house there. Well, it's not a house anymore. It's just a plot of land. The government will put up a Quonset hut, but who wants a Quonset hut? I do. I, I tell you what. I'll trade you my motor home. Right here and now. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I'm liable to take you up on it. I want you to take me up on it.
We're home. We're in L.A. Great. We're thrilled, Dad. Look at that smog. It's disgusting. Nobody ever died from smog. You know, we were crazy to go up there. We're city people. It's in our blood. The smog, the freeways, the green slime under the house. You know, we never actually had that slime analyzed. Good point, good point. I mean, just because the slime is green doesn't mean that it's bad. That's right, that's right. We'll continue with music in a moment. But first, a news update. Carcinogens have been found in the county reservoir. Eighteen hostages are still being held in the meat locker of the Midtown Market. And acid rain is due to hit the Southland. These are other stories coming up in 30 minutes. We're getting out of here. All right! Right on, Dad! That's crazy. Where are we going? Somewhere. Anywhere. Just because there were nuts in Woodcrest doesn't mean there are nuts everywhere. There's got to be someplace better than this. Where? I don't know. What about Maine? Maine? Okay, you don't like Maine. How about Vermont, Canada? The world's our oyster. Maine sounds nice. Okay, Maine it is. Wednesday night, Peter Falk and Alan Arkin star on the hilarious adventure of the in-laws, the CBS Wednesday night movie. I'm Bill Curtis. Oil prices go down, Mexico can't pay its debts. What happens to the U.S. banks that lend it money and their customers? Details tomorrow on the CBS Morning News.